And now, from the studios of Channel 7, it's Detroit's only live morning talk show, the award-winning Kelly and Company. Thank you, everyone, and welcome to Kelly and Company. Our first guest this morning has had his fingers in some of the most famous locks in the world. From royalty to punk rockers, he's the talk of the town. I'd like you to welcome to Kelly and Company the one and only Pierre Alexander. <laughs> are supposed to be so much fun you say I think people say that you're uh, Britain's Richard Simmons really ah, that's what I've heard <laughs> I that that. you have a talk show over there yes it's coming out in the summer actually and uh, I invite guests on it and uh, makeup artists and um, models and psychiatrists oh and it's every things. morning it's going to be on for 13 weeks and uh, 13 is lucky for me you see and uh, it's about 20 mi 25 minutes program so if it goes after 13 weeks, you've got a show then. Well, it's I hope so. Like I hope so, yes. Wow. Well, yeah. You uh, you know, a lot of uh, hairstyles. I, th I think Britain was very famous for hairstyles in the yeah. time of the Beatles and, and Twiggy's time and everything. But they've kind of, it, they, Diane, Princess uh, Diana, and, um, well, really, Boy George has sort of taken the emphasis back, <laughs> like it or not, to England. Uh, do you think that um, London is, or London, England, and, and the whole country really are more open for kind of adventuresome looks? I think it is a fabulous country to try new things out. But I find America is very on par with it now. I think you all like Boy George. Yeah? Yeah, I think. Yeah, I, think. But <laughs> I, might, I might like Boy George, but I don't know if I'd like my hair to look like. No, that Boy is, of George. course, of course, he's got to be noticed, hasn't he? He's <laughs> got to be singing. noticed. Yes. What does he wear, these things that he Well, it's down sort of like here. rags. I, I showed him the first time he did it, actually. We uh, got some uh, African um, cloths, all sort of different colors. Yes. And we just wrapped it around, some strands of hair. And the hair was actually short in the beginning, so we sort of <laughs> got a piece of cloth down and wrapped it around several times. He wanted to look sort of like in between of a, a man and a woman, but sort of neutral. <laughs> he wanted to appeal to anybody. And, he uh, made it. Yes, he made it. He seemed to make it. We haven't figured it out yet over here. <laughs> yes. He got Marilyn now as well, same name like you, who's yeah. a guy mm -hmm. who's got long hair down to here. And he, sex, uh, he dresses very sexy, he's got a, he shows his chest and he sings wild, he wears sequins clothes and he is the new big up and coming guy. And now. his name is Marilyn. Mar Yes. And his name is it's Marilyn. It's actually I Marilyn. I haven't heard of yes. Marilyn. Ha when I, <laughs> my when goodness. I was, when I was in the choose to him the first time, it's actually, I didn't know whether it was him or her. So because mm -hmm, it was, mm -hmm. he's gorgeous. He really does look like a girl, actually. He looks beautiful. But he walks like a guy. So it's, uh, you know, you get the right feeling of it. Top but girl, bottom man, him. right? Maybe? Yes. Hmm? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, let's kind of play the name game, okay? Uh, Rod Stewart. Yes. Now. That's a wild hairdo. Well, um, I, That's why. Uh, <laughs> I did the first, um, uh, because I'm from Switzerland mm -hmm. and from Baal and mm -hmm. uh, German speaking. And I uh, happened to know his manager when he started, George Stewart, with the faces mm -hmm. in the pop group. And uh, I had to sort of do something with his hair, so I spiked it out and did things like that. And he hated it. He said, I can't walk around like this. And uh, eventually got used to it, and of course uh, he became very well known of it. In fact, I had my own hair stuck out a while ago, and I'm a little bit flatter now. And um, really, I think it's uh, great. I saw him about four months ago on a show with um, Liza Minnelli, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, we had to talk with each other and says, you know, you seem to like your hair now, it's stuck on you, you know, everybody's yeah, calling. And he says, mean, well, you were right at the time, which is about, about 12 years ago. Linda Jackson. Well, I cut her hair short, and she had to have it for a film. Cut it very, very short, about uh, seven months ago. Shorter and, than uh, this? Is yes, this it's the very short. It's, it's, it's very like short. I cut it sort of like very short. Oh, did you? Oh, back like that. Yes, she had to uh -huh, need, need uh -huh. it for a film. Also, she had to wear wigs and so yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. And she's a fabulous lady. Yeah, she, she's I'm lovely. sure she is. She's a true professional. She's a very private person. She doesn't like to uh, go out an awful lot. In fact, I saw her the last time on the, on the Lights of an Eddie show as well, because yeah. everybody was there. Yeah. Elton John. And this one. Elton John. Elton, I know it's Reggie, because I know Elton when he, before he actually made it. Elton and John hasn't uh, got yeah. much hair, has he? He hasn't got much hair on the top, and he's uh, tried to do something with it. And I just feel, you know, he should have sort of short hair and sporty hair, and I keep telling him, 
to have uh, the hair cut short and just keep it short, maybe a little bit of chunk in it, you know, make it a bit rough and so on. But uh, he likes to wear his hat. He's just got this terrible thing about his hair. What would you do with Princess Diana's hair? Um, Princess You've Diana, never done her hair? Have I haven't done her hair, no. You've done but, royalty, um, though? Yes, I do Princess in Helen, uh, Helena, yeah. for example, who's a cousin of the Queen. And um, I think Princess Diana has super hair. She's absolutely gorgeous. And I think her hair is perfect the way it is. I think it could be now slightly changed a little bit to make it a little bit softer. I find it's a bit mm -hmm. on the straight side. Mm -hmm. I would like to see it more going back because it's hanging down a little bit at the moment. And actually the people who do the hair are friends of mine and in fact have worked in my salon before that. Oh yes. 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 She has thick hair though, hasn't she? Very thick hair. She's got medium thick hair. Oh. It's mm -hmm. not very thick and it's not fine. It's just perfect. How do you make hair look color. thick? Oh, I've got the fabulous thing. I've got this fantastic new mousse. We had it in, uh, in uh, England. What is it few. called? It's called Alberto, a European styling mousse. A mousse. And this is actually brought out here in the States. And this is what I'm doing here. I'm doing a sort of cross the country tour to promote the product. And this actually just put it in your hands, rub it in, massage it in your hands, and put it in your hair and just scrunch it up. And you just get amazing volume. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm going to show it to you later Doesn't on. it make, you gre make your hair greasy? No, it doesn't. Actually, in the contrary, it helps to keep it staying in. Because your hair only goes greasy because it lies flat. Because grease runs down, you see. Mm -hmm. When you actually lift your hair away from the roots, it's logical. Grease doesn't like to rise very much. So obviously, you have actually the hair standing out and the grease stays on the roots. It's kind of like a dippity-doo. Yes. Do you just kind of... Well, if I, would do, if I would do it on you, for example, right, I could yeah. sort of like immediately, within seconds, I just bring everything out like this, and it just stays, and that's great. And it's marvelous for windy weather, for example. You probably don't use many combs, do you? You just uh, use I, your hands I love and, these ones. Actually, I've got, I've got a little comb here. I've got a little comb here. I call it a little rake, you see, and so it, because you can scratch it up and you do things like that, you know, go like I that. I see, I And see. Um, it's hard to find. It looks good, doesn't it? Are we getting <laughs> to the point that men and women are going to wear exactly the same hairstyles? I mean, I'm looking at your hair, and I like it. Mm -hmm. I like the cut, and I could wear that maybe really yes, of course. I mean it's <laughs> kind of, yeah I'm thinking are we getting to that point I think women and men are always different I think this the, the men is toned down the women I mean if I would be a woman for example mm -hmm. I would have my hair much fuller mm -hmm. but because I'm a man I sort of keep it down but I need my hair obviously longer because I feel my profile needs it I don't look good with short hair I feel better my hair is naturally curly believe it or not is it and I make it straight every morning with the hair dryer and I oh, use the mousse on do. it yes and um, this is the basic idea. We've got some pictures um, of some of your little more radical hairstyles. <laughs> Let's look at these, okay? You have three of them. This is the hot cut, and we actually call it power cut. And uh, it's been one of the most popular hairstyles over the last uh, six, seven years. It's been featured in, in uh, more than 2,000 magazines worldwide. And it's actually... We call it punky, but really punk is really very commercial today. Anybody can be punky, mm -hmm. whether you are 40 years young or 60 years young or 20 years old. It doesn't really matter. I can see some young girls here in the audience having it. And they use the moose and just put it in. This one is uh, a version of the overnight boy George look. Again, we, uh, uh, we sort of like wrap actually now you've got the around wraps the around here right. you talking about. the top, we just use the Alberta <laughs> moose and we just mm -hmm. actually... Mm -hmm. we, uh, Fluff it up. Literally, I don't need any blow dryers. Now this is this is now something this. different. You see. <laughs> right. This how many? <laughs> tell me, how many birds are now, in there that we see, don't all see? All these ladies are going to want to walk around like this tomorrow because uh, they want to be noticed. Don't laugh because this is a trend and this is how it's going. It's um, and now that last one, you've got to be a certain type of yes. person. Yes. They actually walk in London. They actually walk around and they, they want to be taken serious. We call it masquerade now. Yes. Don't like to be called punks anymore. It's sort of like it's passe to be new wave, and so it's sort of like a very much more uh, very serious taken cult. It's a cult, mm -hmm. and they mm -hmm. have their own clubs and their own pubs. They go in their own restaurants, and they want to be taken serious. Well, very strong about it. we're taking you very seriously, <laughs> and, and you've got a, a, an audience member who you have been working on. I hope she didn't see those, or she'll be running out the back door. She may not be back there when you go back, as a matter of fact. I <laughs> Okay, Pierre, see Thank what you. you can do at the end of the show. We're going to bring her back, and I'm sure she's going to look great. She's going to like kids. It's not going to be that crazy, is it? No, it's been okay. very, 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 very <laughs> We'll be back.